In this video, we will calculate future value of a regular series of investment. Now, the question says, if you invest rupees 10,000 per annum, now this is an important thing to note, it's per annum, it's not one single investment of rupees 10,000. So 10,000 rupees invested every year, how much money will you accumulate at the end of fifth year if the rate is 10% and the question has two subparts if you start investing at beginning of each year and if you invest at end of each year to understand this let us create a timeline starting with the current year which is 2013 so let's let's start with 2013 if you start with 2013 when do you end with your five years you end at the end of 2018 so 2013 2014 and if you drag it down that's 2014 2015 16 17 and 18 so what you have is you have six years on the timeline because the year in which you start is your year zero as in this is the beginning of first year your first year will end in 2014 and hence for the five years you will have six years on the timeline once again if you stretch this out it will become zero to five Now, where are we investing is the key difference between the part A and the part B. In our part A, we are investing at beginning of the year. And where is beginning of the year? The beginning of year is at point zero in 2013. So if I look at beginning of next one year, and this beginning of year need not be confused with 1st of January. The beginning of year can be anywhere it can be July it can be September so wherever you begin your one year begins minus 10,000 in 2013 the same amount of investment in 14 15 16 and 17 so this way is what has happened is we have invested rupees 10,000 at beginning of year 1 beginning of year 2 beginning of year 3 beginning of year 4 and beginning of year 5 please note that the point 1 also denotes beginning of year 2 as well as end of year 1 similarly the point 2 would also denote end of year 2 and beginning of year 3 and point 4 would denote beginning of year 5 so having invested all of these monies our question was that by the end of fifth year how much money will we accumulate and to answer this question we can calculate is equal to future value wherein rate of interest has been given to us as 10 percent n per is 5 years PMT is minus 10,000 there is no present value in the question and type now type is what classifies in for system whether the investment or the cash flow is happening at beginning of the period or at end of the period so important thing to remember is that if you want to tell the system if you want to let the system know know that in this question consider cash flows at beginning of each period we got to put type as one type one meaning cash flows occurring at beginning of the year So the answer comes to 67,156 if you invest 10,000 rupees at beginning of each year which means you invest with type 1 pattern. The other type is type 0 and that is what would be applicable for end of the year. So if you are going to invest at end of year 1 meaning you won't invest in 2013 at all you will sit around for one year and then you would invest 10,000 rupees at the end of year one 
and after that invest the same money for next five years now before calculating the final answer take a guess the answer from B would it be equal to A or would it be lesser than A or would it be more than A well as you might have guessed it it has got to be lesser than A part the reason being you are losing one full year's interest on each 10,000 investment in fact the last year does not get you any interest it just goes in and adds the corpus by rupees 10,000 right so you have your last investment right in 10,000 in the at the end of fifth year in 2018 that is also the year when we will calculate our future value so future value rate once again being 10 percent and per being five years PMT minus 10,000 and there is no PV still and type is going to be zero an important note to remember is that whenever system is not given any type if you forget to give type the system by default will always take type as zero the answer is 61051 as expected this answer is lesser than our earlier answer and now how much less do you ask is there a relationship between the answer that you get from end or answer that you get from type 0 which is 61051 type 0 answer and the type 1 answer well it turns out that basically what has happened with type 0 is that each investment has lost one full year and the rate of interest for that one full year is 10% and hence if you increase this type 0 investment by one year that is by 10 percent it should go to type 1 investment so 61051 into 110 percent why 110 percent because 61051 100 percent is the same amount 10 percent extra and we get 67156 so result of delaying one year is loss of one year's interest which is 10 percent 